Hello, everyone. I'm Xian Yi from Profess Lab. It's my honor to have this opportunity to give this talk. The talk the topic is uh, optimize uh, open blast by risk five V vector extension. First of all, I will introduce the uh, blast. BLAS stands for the Basic Linear Algebra Subprogram. The BLAS have three levels, level one, vector and uh, scalar, level two, matrix and uh, vector, level three, matrix and uh, matrix uh, operation. BLAS is the computational kernel in most uh, dense linear algebra applications, uh, including LaPyke and uh, MATLAB. There are many high-performance implementations, for example, CPU vendors implementation, Intel, MKL, and uh, NVIDIA uh, Kubla. And uh, there are many, uh, some other uh, open source implementations, for example, OpenBlast and uh, Atlas. OpenBlast is forked from GoToBlast 2 since 2011, it's BSD license. Here is the GitHub link. Uh, OpenBlast supports uh, uh, CPUs, of, uh, Intel CPU, AMD CPUs, and uh, ARM embedded uh, CPUs and uh, ARM embedded uh, ARM server. Uh, OpenBlast also supports uh, IBM Power and uh, MIPS. For for RISC five, uh, so far OpenBlast just uh, have the naive C implementation. It, 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 it's it's unoptimized uh, for RISC five uh, uh, CPU core and uh, no vector extension. You can check out the RISC five V spec from GitHub. The cu the current uh, spec version is zero zero point nine. In my View compared to the Intel AVX or ARM Neo or other CMD instru uh, instructions, uh, Risk V vector have the vector learn VL, and uh, you can control the number of elements to compute in uh, vector instruction. Here is an example to compute four elements, and uh, this is to compute uh, three elements. How to program RISC-V vector extension? There are three methods. The first one is just to use the compiler, the, the compiler auto vectorization. And uh, the second is to write the RISC-V assembly or inline assembly. It can achieve the better performance. For example, you can write the matrix and multiplication assembly kernels, but the, this is the low productivity. And uh, the last one is to to write the risc v intrinsic. It's just the C language. It balances the performance and the productivity. So far, we used the uh, uh, RISC-V V uh, two chains from the T hat. The T hat uh, upload their uh, two chains in this link, into this link. Uh, it supports the intrinsic in GCC compiler, and uh, they also provide the QMU emulator to run and test the program. Firstly, we use the reserve V to optimize the AXPY function. It's a plus level one function. The AXPY is to perform as a vector and vector operator operations and like this one. It's a, a, a scalar multiply a vector and a, a plus a vector. And the, here's the C level definition for AXPY. And uh, uh, there are increase, incremental X and uh, incremental Y. 
it means uh, uh, it can may straight uh, access the vector. Here is the naive naive implementation for ASPY. It's just uh, a while loop. And uh, on ARM new, there are about uh, 200 lines uh, assembly code. For the RE5V implementation, uh, we devised two, uh, uh, two kinds of implementation. The first one is uh, you need to stress uh, access. And uh, for, for you, you need to stress access, we can use the you need to load. For example, this one and uh, this one. And uh, also uh, for the store, uh, we can use this uh, VSE uh, store. Uh, besides the main loop, for the uh, tail, we change the different uh, vector learn to use the RE5V vector instruction to compute the tail. For example, here is the tail computation code. The non-unit stretch code is very similar to the unit stretch case. We just changed the load and the store instruction. And uh, for the performance test, we uh, test our, our OpenBLAS DASPY on Xuan TSC910 core on FPGA card. And uh, we test the uh, unit stretch speed up and uh, non-unit stretch speed up compared to the C implementation. It's about 10% uh, uh, or maybe 50% uh, uh, speed up. And uh, for the GMM uh, uh, case, we use the block-based uh, algorithm. You can check out this paper for the detail. Uh, for the DGEMM RISC-V implementation, we use the inline assembly to have to achieve the better performance. And here is the, the code sample. We use the 8x4 register block size and 8, uh, 8 register for A and 8 register for B and uh, 16 vector register for the C and the uh, accum uh, accum um, accumulate result. And uh, we use the pipeline loop and uh, to compute the C result and uh, load the next A and the B. Here is the uh, performance result uh, of the DGMM also on the Xuan TSC 910 uh, Course compared to the NetLeaf reference class implementation, we can achieve about uh, six, uh, six to uh, seven uh, times speed up, and uh, we test uh, a square matrix from sixteen to the five hundred and twelve. The conclusion. Uh, uh, so far, the OpenBLAS is uh, a support uh, risk type. Uh, the, the porting is finished, but the vector extension is uh, working in process. We uh, uh, optimize the DJM function and the BLAST1 function. And uh, the fully optimization, we will be finished uh, in this year and uh, will be open source. Thank you for your attending. This is my email and my WeChat QR code.